The North Dakota National Guard spent months preparing for a possible flood response. So when the governor issued a statewide emergency declaration for potential spring flooding, they were ready. Staff Sergeant Dan Bartson has the story. Soft wave. Working together with state, local, and federal agencies, the North Dakota National Guard employed experience gained from the 2009 and 2010 floods to better assist the citizens and communities all across North could Dakota. A, could somebody walk in with waiters from that side? Good news is we've got a lot of experience. The bad news is we've had a lot of experience. For the North Dakota National Guard, uh, this is the third year in a row that we've been involved in a flood fight here in the Red River Valley. And we've learned lessons from 2009 and 2010, and we've, you know, we've made adjustments, uh, course corrections, if you will, in how we do business uh, based on our past experience. And it's been, it's been fantastic. It really pays off. The North Dakota National Guard spent over a month on flood fighting operations across the state, with almost 1,500 guardsmen contributing to the effort. Responses ranged from traffic control points to quick reaction forces on standby to respond to emergency situations. Today we're tasked to respond to uh, evacuate an 87-year-old man that hadn't, they had no response with. I got picked up with a helicopter here a couple years ago. Oh, I tell you, 10 miles around there was flood. And a cooperative effort with uh, the, the sheriff deputies, as well as the Army and Air Guard personnel and the Coast Guard. In combination, all of us, we were able to get the gentleman out safely. That's all right. I appreciate that. The community appreciation spanned the length of the Red River Valley from Wapaton to the Canadian border. Oh, this is amazing. Didn't expect this. <laughs> oh, we, I think we have the best, the best, best health in the United States right now. Wow. I got a little lump in my throat when they're driving up. <laughs> Thank you. I think um, this flood fight is kind of what the guard's all about, helping local communities, and I think this is the best, the best part about being in the guard, is taking care of uh, people in the community that need us. The 32 days of missions were conducted by utilizing two major task forces, one in Bismarck for western North Dakota, and one in Fargo for the eastern part of the state, utilizing the latest in flood fighting technology is uh, use of great technology uh, by our soldiers and airmen. Uh, two in particular uh, are Sergeant Seiko and Sergeant Valenti. Uh, they're the ones that put a lot of this together that allow our people in the operations center to see in a real-time setting you know, what's going on out there, where our people are, uh, what the missions are and what the status and progress is, uh, what the flood flows are, what the likely areas of flooding would be if there were a breach. Uh, breaching levy. It's really amazing. The use of technology today helps us do our job much, much better than we have in the past. Two weeks later, in early June, nearly 2,000 members of the North Dakota National Guard were mobilized to combat the rapidly rising waters threatening communities in central North Dakota for a second round of flood fighting, this time in the Souris River Basin and along the Missouri River. Reporting for First Air Force Now, I'm Staff Sergeant Than Bardson.